episode four of my uh, my channel and my uh, my series on tripod stuff, and this episode is devoted to Gitzo. Um, Gitzo is an absolutely fantastic manufacturer of ball heads, and the model that they sent me for the review is the GH thirteen eighty two QD. Actually, they have a uh, a more heavy duty version than this. And then they have a traveler option that is less heavy duty than this. This one fits right in the, in the center. Um, the price on this retail is $350. And um, it's a fantastic ball head. I haven't shot it as much as I shot the Acrotech, simply because I haven't had it as long. I, uh, I got the Acrotech Nomad um, a couple weeks ahead, so I shot that just a ton. I did take this out one day shooting. Um, I was generally pretty happy with it. Um, I have the, the main thing that I wasn't thrilled about, or I'm not thrilled about right now, is actually not really a, a function of the Gitzo at all. It's actually a function of the Faisal tripod and the Gitzo um, in combination. The head, this is the smaller of the Faisal tri tripods that I just showed in episode three. And this knob is actually really not um, well designed to fit on a, a main body of a tripod head that's this big. So my assumption is that the um, the Gitzo tripods have, uh, this looks like maybe it's a one and a quarter inch or something about like that, maybe one and a half, whatever, um, diameter ball head. And when you put it on this much wider uh, plate, it, it gets a little cramped in getting your hand in here to function to operate this knob. Um, tiny pet peeve, obviously it's, it's not a, a Gitzo problem, it's a pairing of the two. So if I was going to put this on a tripod and make my decision of the pairing, um, if the Gitzo ball head is totally right for me, I'd say the Faisal legs probably aren't. Um, maybe like a, a three-legged thing. Uh, I got to show you that, man. When, when we get there, you are going to be really excited about this funky, cool product. Um, anyway, we are not there yet. We are talking about Gitzo. All right, so... I think the, the ball head uh, reviews and, and views are going to be a little bit quicker than a lot of the others because there's really the, uh, the same essential function. You have a bubble level here. It's an Arca Swiss compatible um, mechanism with the knob to tighten down right here. Um, these are uh, rubberized or silica gel or something. It's a nice grippy substance. The knobs are a little smaller compared to some of the other brands. Um, yeah, this is the main knob right here. And you're going to get the panning unlocked here. Uh, this is the main knob for the controlling the, the ball. And inside the center there's actually a friction control. That friction control, if it's if it's wound down tight, it really kind of doesn't matter. So that's tightened down pretty good. I have uh, the main knob as loose as it'll go and I cannot move it. So, so the friction control actually gets you way past the point of just uh, controlling the amount of drag that you want on there, it makes it immobile if you tighten it down all the way. Of course, all you need to do is just loosen it up to where you want it. Set your tension with the inner part, and then when you're ready to lock it down, boom, you can lock it down. Um, there is a nice little cutaway. Hopefully my camera doesn't fritz out too badly on you for focusing. There's a nice little cutaway right here, and there's a little center line here where you can keep it perfectly parallel and to the body. That's um, you know, a nice little design touch. Another thing that I really appreciate about this is right here, you can see, and there's one that you can't see over on the other side, is uh, uh, they're not Phillips screws, but they're like a, a hex device that you get the right screwdriver um, tool there. You're gonna be able to take this apart to clean it. So if it does get sand and dirt down in the main body, you have a uh, pretty easy access to get in there and clean it out. Um, the vertical, um, the vertical drop here is right, nice 90 degrees. It's very accurate, just like, uh, I'd mentioned on the Acrotech, which foreign to me from the, the junky one that I'm coming from, but looking at good gear, I think that's, that's again, standard for everybody. Um, and that's essentially it. I announced on the last video about the Tripod Roadshow, and if you didn't watch that video, uh, check it out. It actually explains a bunch of the different locations where I will be this summer showing this gear to photographers, and uh, um, I am not 100% sure that Gitzo is going to let me keep it all summer or not. I will hopefully find out 
um, within the next day or two, and and I will just tag it on as, in a future episode and let you know if that's going to be along with. I think a lot of people will be very interested in seeing this ball head. It's a, um, it's, you know, it's one of the big names. It's one of the one of the good guys. So um, I would certainly love to have it to show to everybody, and we'll just see how the distributors uh, feel about letting me hang on to it for a summer. So that's basically it. I hope that everybody has a great rest of your day. And uh, thank you very much again for subscribing, liking, sharing. And if you have any additional comments, and, and you know what, I may not have even given you the stats. Uh, just in case, it holds 31 pounds capacity. Uh, it's 4.4 inches high. And it weighs 1.1 pound. And it's made of tungsten disulfide metal. So it's, it's metal, it's solid, it's, it's, it's hefty duty. So it is the good stuff. Alright, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.